Holy men, <clears throat> holy men shed their glorious blood for the Lord. They loved Christ in their life. They imitated him in their death and therefore were crowned in triumph. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Uh, we'll celebrate uh, the Feast of Two Martyrs today, uh, uh, St. John Fisher and St. Thomas More. Uh, I'll tell you a little more about them later, but uh, Thomas More is certainly uh, known to many people uh, from the, the play and movie, A Man for All Seasons. Uh, won the Best Picture Award uh, in the Academy Awards and the Golden Globes, and the uh, Best Actor for Paul Schofield, who played him. Uh, Robert Bolt's wonderful play and movie uh, made him famous in our modern era. And as we begin our celebration, let's just take a moment of quiet reflection, look in our daily lives for those moments of grace, give God thanks for his gifts, and seek forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant the joyful outcome to our prayers, O Lord, so that we who each year devoutly honor the day of passion of your holy martyrs, John and uh, Thomas, may also imitate the constancy of their faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Book of Kings. Shalman Ephi, king of Assyria, occupied the whole land and attacked Samaria, which he besieged for three years. In the ninth year of Hosea, king of Israel, the king of Assyria took Samaria and deported the children of Israel to Assyria, settling them in Elath at the harbor a river of Josan, and the cities of the Medes. This came about because the children of Israel sinned against the Lord, who had their God, who had brought them up from the land of Egypt, from under the domination of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and because they venerated other gods. They followed the rights of the nations, whom the Lord had cleared out of the way of the children of Israel and the kings of Israel whom they set up. And though the Lord warned Israel and Judah by every prophet and seer, give up your evil ways and keep my commandments and statutes in accordance with the entire law which I enjoin on your fathers and which I sent you by my servant the prophet. They did not listen, but were as stiff-necked as their fathers, who had, not who had not believed in the Lord their God. They rejected his statutes, the covenant which he had made with their fathers, and the warning which he had given them, till, in his great anger against Israel, the Lord put them away out of his sight. Only the tribe of Judah was left. The word of the Lord. The sponsorial psalm. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. O God, you have rejected us and broken our defenses. You have been angry. Rally us. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. You have rocked the country and split it open. Repair the cracks in it, for it is tottering. You have made your people feel hardships. You have given us stupefying wine. 
Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Had not you, O God, rejected us, so that you go not forth, O God, with our armies? Give us aid against the foe, for worthless is the help of men. Help us with your right hand, O Lord, and answer us. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me remove that splinter from your eye, while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Trouble with Kings. That um, so we have in our first reading, and that's what uh, uh, took the lives of St. John Fisher and St. Thomas More. Um, they were both high officials in uh, England at the time of uh, the ascendancy of Henry VIII to the throne. Um, St. John Fisher was the Bishop of Rochester, one of the leading church figures of the day. Thomas More uh, was a lawyer, a member of parliament, and Henry made him chancellor of the kingdom. So he, he ran the day-to-day -day, uh, administration of the nation. Um, Henry himself was uh, uh, the second son of uh, Henry VII, uh, but he assumed the right of succession when his older brother died uh, when he was only 15. Um, and so uh, young 10-year-old Henry started accumulating titles then as uh, his father, uh, number seven, uh, started uh, giving him all these titles, Duke of this, Prince of that, uh, Knight of this, Knight of that, uh, keeping in mind each one of these carried an income with it, so it's keeping the money in the family. Um, uh, when he, uh, Henry ended up assuming the throne, uh, around the age of a high school graduate today, he was just 17 or 18, and among the things that he did uh, at that point is that his brother had been betrothed to, the, uh, to Catherine of Aragon, uh, the daughter of King Ferdinand and Queen Isabella of Spain. It was one of these political marriages that, that cemented a peace treaty between the two empires. Um, with his older brother dying, uh, Spaniards sought, the Spanish kings sought to uh, have Henry uh, assume this role. Uh, but he demurred as a young man, but when he got to be 17, he started seeing some benefits for this, and so uh, he pushed through uh, and, and uh, married her, and then a couple of days later, the two of them were crowned king and queen of England. 
Henry himself was a devout Catholic. In fact, uh, early in his reign, he wrote uh, a letter in defense of the sacraments, of uh, the seven sacraments. It was really written in, in opposition to uh, what was taking place in the, uh, the Lutheran and Calvinist uh, reformations going on in Central Europe. And Pope Leo X was so impressed with this, uh, uh, this statement, which uh, not only defended the seven sacraments, but defended the primacy of the papacy. He named uh, Henry defender of the faith. Um, uh, an ironic title, but one that uh, Queen Elizabeth II maintains to this day. If you ever look at uh, get a British pound note or any denomination above that, you'll see the initials DF on the uh, on the currency. One of the official titles of the monarch of Great Britain is they are the defender of the faith. Catherine's problem was she could not produce a male heir, and so Henry, who had a wandering eye to begin with, and uh, keeping mistresses was not uh, an uncommon thing among uh, monarchs to, in Europe. Uh, he sought to legitimize one of these and sought an annulment from his wife, uh, Catherine. Uh, the Holy Father didn't want to agree to this. And this is what started uh, the, the English Reformation. And Henry kept pushing this forward and uh, even made it uh, uh, rammed through uh, laws through Parliament that uh, they were known as the Acts of Succession. And it, it made it uh, a crime against uh, the king and treason to, uh, to demure on, on what he sought in this case. Um, uh, Bishop Fisher, John Fisher, uh, resigned his post as bishop rather than uh, uh, acquiesce to this uh, divorce, this annulment, um, uh, but continued to speak out against it. And so uh, he was arrested uh, in, uh, for treason. Uh, Thomas More, who had been uh, put in office as chancellor, uh, was a close friend of the king. Um, uh, but he said, you're wrong in this case. Um, and he resigned from his post. But being a good lawyer, he kept his mouth uh, quiet so that the, the, the act of treason could not be brought up due to an earlier act that said he actually had to speak something uh, to be treasonous. Uh, nonetheless, the pressures grew so great and uh, his successors in office uh, getting uh, pushed through uh, uh, arresting him. And so he and John Fisher were both uh, tossed into the Tower of London. It was not Henry's intention that they be uh, tried and executed for this. He thought that uh, prison itself would be uh, a bad enough experience they would give in. Uh, they did not. Uh, and Cron Oliver Cromwell, who had taken over as chancellor, uh, had them both beheaded. Uh, the, the outcry was great, but the fear of the king was uh, uh, too much to, to do anything about it. Um, in our first reading, we see the kings of Israel failing uh, the, the people uh, with their adoption of uh, all worship and other pagan religions uh, putting the covenant behind um, such so that by the end of today's reading uh, the only tribe left self-governing was the tribe of Judah uh, perhaps these kings suffered from what Jesus talked about in today's gospel from Matthew uh, uh, Hosea and uh, that others up to Henry uh, never saw the wooden plank in their own eyes. Uh, instead went looking for splinters in the eyes of others, um, putting their own desires, uh, and their own glorification ahead of uh, the glorification of God. 
Um, and something's a, a lesson that's there for us is uh, one does not have to be a king to suffer from this. Uh, we ourselves uh, need to always be looking to see what are our motivations for things. Are we serving God or are we serving ourselves? Uh, John Fisher and Thomas More always kept God at the core of uh, what they sought. Uh, let us follow their example uh, and let us be true to the covenant uh, and uh, most especially to the new covenant of uh, uh, salvation through Jesus Christ. Let us bring our need before our Heavenly Father. Let the church and its leaders be ashamed, refrain from sin and the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The world, world leaders and their people may avoid the to the Lord, pray Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The judges please be those who work the law. Do so with integrity and care, we pray to the Lord. That the sick, the injured, and those suffering addiction may be free from shame in their healing, we pray to the Lord. And for all the sick that we promise to pray for, especially Father Norm Dixon, Father Mark, Father Jim Gardner, Connor, Peggy, Madeline, James, Raymond, Zach, Louis, Casey, Rivera, Steve, Dr. Christopher, Jerry, and Karen, Richard, Peter, Bella, Helen, Michael, and John, we pray to the Lord. For all those who have passed away, and especially Bo Kershaw, for whom this Mass is offered, and for Raymond Stocknick, who is the father of Father Kent Stocknick, we pray to the Lord. That the dead may rejoice in the merciful judgment of heaven, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all those spoken and unspoken, and those in the Book of Intentions, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation. Blessed be God forever. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. And with your spirit, we lift him up to the Lord. It is right and just. The duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. The blood of your blessed martyrs, John and Thomas, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous work, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Martin, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also Raymond and all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, your blessed apostles, Wenceslas, Thomas, John, and your martyrs, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior is commanded and formed by divine teaching. Let us pray together the prayer given to us by Jesus himself. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, to take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, the only who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord. Lord. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. Let us pray. Loving God, who in your holy martyrs, John and Thomas, have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.